The video of the captured women from the Nachal Oz army base was released today, yesterday. I've been thinking about it all day and I debated whether or not to talk about it. It, it was shocking and I decided I just couldn't go to sleep until I talked about it. It is horrifying and one of the things that made me hesitant was that fact that my kids watch my YouTube channel, but I still feel like I need to talk about Nama Levy Agamberger, Liri Alba, Karina Ariev, and Danielle Gilboa, who were seen in this video footage, terrified. These poor women, ages 19 and 20, they're just barely adults. I took some notes of things I wanted to say. This was a video that was released by the families of these women. It was declassified to the families of the hostages. This was a video that was taken on October 7th, and the families decided to release this to the world because the world doesn't believe what happened to these women. And in addition to that, I've been reading some of the comments, and they're horrific. It's just heartless. Don't even bother commenting if you have something horrible to say about these poor women, or if you're going to deny it, just scroll on. The point of releasing it is also to pressure the Israeli government into making a deal so that these women come back. It is really important to get these poor women out of the hands of these rapist captors. The video shows these terrorists commenting about how these are the women that can get pregnant, saying they're so beautiful, while the women have blood on their faces, they're handcuffed or zip-tied, and you can see their bloody faces, their torn clothes, the way they are not walking properly when they're making them walk, very clearly in pain. Meanwhile, the world is calling for a ceasefire, not calling for the release of these kidnapped women to be able to go back to their families. And they're still in captivity and they're still with the terrorists who are brutalizing them and raping them. I think about if these were my kids, I would do anything to get them back. Meanwhile, the world is demanding that the world feeds their captors with humanitarian aid and food because that's who it's going to. It's going to Hamas. It's not going to the people. For Jews around the world, this is traumatizing. These feel like family members and the world's reaction feels like a punch in the face. And if it seems like Israel doesn't give a damn about public opinion right now, maybe the world's reaction to what has happened to them is why. Jews have faced right and wrong before in the world. The Holocaust was state-sanctioned genocide and it was legal. And when the world doesn't believe Jewish women and defend them, world approval doesn't really matter anymore. And as horrible and as horrifying as that video was that we saw, this was the cleaned up version of that video. We have been told that this video has been edited to take out the dead bodies of these women's friends. What we know is that it's been reported that 22 women from the Nachalos base were huddled in a bomb shelter, 15 were allegedly raped and killed by Hamas, seven were taken into captivity, one was rescued and another was murdered, and five are still in captivity by Hamas. And the most haunting words that will never leave me are the words on that video of a terrorist saying that these are the women that can get pregnant, referring to the five bloodied and brutalized women that later are seen being taken into a truck over the border into Gaza. This is what I, and I'm sure every Jewish mother, thinks about when we go to sleep at night and we think about October 7th. We think about these women. Why are they still there? Most of the people that I have seen commenting about this video have been Jewish mothers, and I can understand that. And I want to remind the world that the footage that we are seeing came from Hamas themselves. This footage was all taken from their own GoPros that they filmed themselves. So if your Jewish friends are not doing well, Today, this is why. The torture in captivity, the blood on their pants, our thoughts about what they've been through are unbearable. It shouldn't be partisan to say that all of those in Hamas captivity, Hamas are terrorists, and all those in captivity need to be at home with their families immediately. Rape is a weapon of war, and all women should be believed, even if they're Jewish. I just can't imagine 
what the thought process was for the families that they needed to put this video out to the world because the families whose daughters are in this video are so incredibly desperate to have their family members back that they agreed to put this video out to the world. And I'm just imagining that their pain must be unbearable to see your daughter going through what she's going through. It is heartbreaking and it is traumatic. I just don't understand how anybody can see this video and not be moved by it. And to also know that the family members of these women made a decision to put the video out because they're so desperate to get their children back, especially knowing that she is in the hands of these monsters who are doing God knows what to her every single day that she remains in captivity. So once again, these women are people and they need to be remembered. Nama Levy, Agam Berger, Liri Albag, Karina Ariev, and Danielle Gilboa, and all the other hundred plus captives sitting somewhere in Gaza right now. I just hope they come home soon and that this war ends.